blast of snow and cold that is making a mess of the morning commute for much of the country right now. Sam is tracking it all for us right now. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, everyone. And it's not just that snow and ice and cold that you're talking about. When you add in the storms, it's more than 1,100 miles worth of storm from the uh, Great Lakes all the way to the Gulf Coast. We'll start this morning with one of the tornadoes in Mississippi and Louisiana. We had them popping there, and you can see it in the light area just coming across the field, the Twitter pictures. The idea here that four tornadoes possibly in that zone. We know that three have been reported, but now we're looking at storm damage that is eerily similar to a tornado that we think in that uh, East Texas area. Looking through storm damage that came in overnight, it was strong gusty winds and then that possibility of a tornado. In one Texas, we're getting reports out of Sabine County, Texas, where a woman, a 74-year-old woman was killed when a tree limb on that storm came down in her home. So just a frightening night to the south of that. To the north, you see the winter war watches and warnings that are still out. Chicagoland got their biggest hit of snow of the season so far, only 3.1 inches of snow, but that's a lot to an area that would normally see a lot more snow and just hasn't had it. One of the places that was practically buried with snow. Well, we're talking about Kansas City, and that's where Ginger Z is this morning. Good morning, Ginger. Sam, you don't get piles of snow like this in Kansas City very often. They had more than nine inches, some of the biggest snow they've had in years. And it happened from Kansas and Nebraska, now this morning, all the way to Wisconsin and Michigan. This morning, as the mammoth snowmaker marches east, it is sending cars sliding. And watch this bus as it tries to turn down this street. It fishtails and slams right into a light pole. Whiting out Chicago streets before dawn. In Kansas Thursday, the deluge of snow led to this rope line rescue attempt. Planes, too, at a standstill. This one in Wichita, dug out by hand. It's a mess out here. I mean, it's really a mess out here. And it's not just how much snow is falling, but how fast. At times, up to three inches per hour. Then there's this. Watch as lightning illuminates the skies in Missouri. The storm creating a relatively rare winter combo, one that we caught on camera. Ah, there it is. That's thunder snow. Ready? Wait for it. There we go. This morning, more than a fifth of the population across 20 states is waking up under this winter blanket and being urged to stay off the roads. Ginger Z capturing that phenomenon of thunder snow. The, sto the storm is developing so rapidly, you get this intensified cloud development that creates the lightning and thunder. You can get it even in a snowstorm, even though it's more likely to get it in that thunderstorm. Now there's a new storm system that shoots off from the energy of that big one, and that means it's a mess in the weekend in parts of the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic.